there a danger that there is an impediment to wage growth now that the job numbers are on the decline, so the slope has really changed, it's collapsing, if you like, and we also see the participation rate going down? Yeah, no. I mean, uh, this weak number was entirely due to weather. Uh, we had great weather in the in the U.S. in February, so we got this big number, over 300,000 gain in employment. And then, of course, there would have been payback uh, no matter what the weather was like in March, but it turned out it was pretty bad. I mean, I don't know about you, but I lived through a couple of northeaster, uh, northeasters that uh, really disrupted things. So weather probably shaved about 100K off the March number, so underlying job growth, abstracting from these weather effects, temporary ups and downs, is still over 200,000 per month, which is double the rate of the growth in the labor force. So the unemployment rate will continue to decline. So, you know, I, I don't read anything in today's number. So you're saying today's number was completely irrelevant. What about the 2.7% year-over-year wage growth? Should that improve then and, and rapidly? Yeah, it's going to continue to accelerate. It has been. So if you go back say three, four years ago when unemployment was higher, wage growth at by this measure, average hourly earnings was one and a half to two percent year over year. Now we're between two and a half and three, so we've had a full point acceleration in growth. And you know, my guess is if you invite me back a year from now and we're chatting, uh, wage growth will be between three and three and a half percent. It will continue to accelerate. The labor market is tight, it's going to get tighter, and wage growth will continue to accelerate. If, if wage growth mark is between three and a, three and three and a half percent in a year's time, where will interest rates be in a year's time? Higher. So the Federal Reserve will continue to raise rates. They will continue to normalize policy. You know, they're, they're saying they're going to do a couple more rate hikes this year, a quarter point each time. My guess is they'll do three more this time, this, uh, three more this year. Probably have to do three or four next year as well. So rates are going higher. Long-term rates will also rise, but by not as much. Uh, you were just talking about the 10-year German Bund at 50 basis points. That's kind of a, a weight on global long-term interest rates, including rates here, long-term rates here. So U.S. 10-year yields will be higher, but they won't rise as much as short-term rates.